Arkansas Pilgrim here again. Today I'm doing something that is definitely not a redneck repair. What I'm going to be fixing today is the pressure regulator on my uh, water supply into my house. Uh, it's been funky for a while, um, you know, a little bit on the low side, but lately if we have, we can't even have two faucets on at the same time without having it just trickling out. So that right there is the pressure regulator. It's got a union right there, and there's also, could be a union there, but it's actually just threaded into a pipe that pipes on the valve, which I've already shut off. But the pipe that comes out, it's glued in there. And, of course, this exact one is no longer available. However, there is a replacement for it by the same company, which I think is the same size. So, here we have the replacement pressure regulator for uh well for the one i'm replacing and uh i'm pretty darn sure that it's exactly the same size as the one i'm replacing because i took this picture um before i did anything it was one of the first things i did so that i can see the dimensions of you know various dimensions of different parts of it whether it's the length of the regulator itself or from the union to different spots or how much pipe is sticking out of the valve so if i had to do if i had to do more than just replace the regulator i have to have you know different fittings i needed to see how much room i had to play with so now if you take a look at this let me show y'all it's Four and a quarter. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I've got the maybe I'm remembering the the dimensions wrong, but I was thinking that. And actually, I thought I actually measured it in the store that it was three and three quarters. Maybe I'm just remembering the number wrong. I was remembering the dimension wrong because if you'll note, oops, put this in the right direction. Here we go. It's basically the exact same length as the other one. So, what I'm going to need to do is undo this union, and I'm also going to have to dig out here. And then take this one off, unscrew it, clean this pipe up here, this pipe nipple, add some Teflon tape, screw this other one back on, and it's, I think, a little bit taller. Put the union in, and we should be ready to go. Sounds pretty simple, right? Please, Jesus, let it be simple. Alrighty, let's get at it. I'm going to dig it out first, and I'm not going to, although this is, uh, you know, it's not really in the way for operating the valve or anything. You know, it's pretty close in there, but I am going to leave all the dirt down in here and put it back when I'm done, because, uh, you know, I live in the south here, and it does get below freezing um, in the wintertime, uh, but it doesn't get really bad. I mean, I, it's gotten down to zero, but it's never been a problem. You know, because, the, you know, the ground stays a pretty good, you know, it helps stay in even temperature. Uh-oh, I'm disturbing a frog. Oh, uh, well, hey, bub. That's what you get living near civilization. Uh, well, what passes for civilization? Anyway, I'm going to put this back in because, you know, it, having it in contact with the ground is good to help uh, prevent any freezing. Uh, what ground temperature... Uh, we, we, we don't have, we get a little bit of frost heave, but it's just at the surface. We don't have to worry about digging down three feet below frozen ground like you pour slobs up in Minnesota or Canada. Assuming I have any of you, well, actually I do, there are some Canadians. Uh, uh, you, you, sorry, Peggy and uh, Andy, uh, you, you guys aren't slobs, okay? Um, but... Uh, 
yeah, you guys are up in Canada, and I guess, and with the, with the whole, I don't even want to say the name of it, um, uh, but the, uh, the whole panic thing going on, you know, cold weather is probably the least of your guys' worries. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and, you guys don't want to watch, sit here and watch me dig, so I'll either speed this up or, uh, or just cut it short. There we go, I think that's good. Now, as you'll note, I've already got the water turned off because uh, the handle is across the pipe. Uh, and I've also already gone inside. Um, well, I also f I found the lowest faucet, and I, which is actually out in our garage, attached a hose to it and kind of ran it down our driveway to help siphon. Uh, opened it up and then opened all the, uh, all the uh, upstairs faucets. Um, to let everything drain. Actually, I should probably open the downstairs faucets too because they might not, even though they're on the same lines, you never know. I don't want a whole bunch of water pouring out here when I open this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and open up some downstairs faucets too to make sure all the water's drained out. Well, I'm glad I did that because there actually was residual water in the downstairs lines. Uh, I guess, you know, however the pipes are arranged, it was, was something uh okay now go ahead yeah my uh my artist daughter just loves this giant wrench she thinks it's cool uh but hey the my dad had it my dad was a uh for part of his construction career was a heavy duty equipment mechanic so he had some large wrenches and i uh i've kept a couple of them and let's see uh I'm gonna go ahead, and I got a, just a regular pipe wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Oh, too much. It's gonna screw up. Well, let's see if I can get it on. Uh, um, actually, let's make it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice thing about unions, they get really, they don't have to get super snug to seal. Yeah, oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, gives it a bit of realism having the weeds in your face there, huh? Okay. There we go there. Now, sorry about the swinging. I've uh, got my my redneck GoPro gadget on, and it uh, okay. Well, this is going to be. I got to make sure and not damage this PVC pipe. So I can get a strap wrench. I found that strap wrenches don't really, at least the ones I have, don't hold that well. Here, that should grip, but not crush. And here. Oh, almost big enough. Let's see if it'll actually kind of wedge. Yeah, it will. There we go. We still got some residual water in there. I 
works. Now the problem with this is this is a tight fit. It's jamming against this and I'm having to thread it out. And it's actually jamming into this pipe. So putting it back in may not be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Cause it probably got put in when there was a lot more, when prob probably when this pipe wasn't buried and there was a lot more flexibility available. You guys see the, what the idea is. I got to unscrew this and put the thing back on. And with this, this camera is kind of getting in my way now. So, uh, hey, you guys are going to have to just uh, uh, use your imagination. Okay. I got it off. You can see here. You see, it tore the O-ring up taking it out because it was in so tight, which makes me worried that I'll tear the O-ring up putting, it, putting the new one back in. So, what I'm going to do... Is it look like I may have bunged the threads up a little bit? Maybe not, but I'm going to go ahead um, and well, first I'm going to clean the threads up a little bit. Try to hopefully not mess them up worse. I actually have a Harbor Freight. Yeah, I know horrible freight. I you know make fun of it, but I've had these a while. Uh, it's a pipe die set. It's half, three quarter, and one inch pipe. This is a one inch pipe. I didn't buy them for being you know for you know being able to thread pipe, even though I mean, I could use that, it would, but you know, that'd be a lot of work. I basically got them to be able to clean up bunged up threads yeah, because it's, you know, they don't, didn't cost very much and I got it up on sale. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of see if, see if this threads on. So something I'm going to do, since there is seem to be a gap here, sometimes, you know, the pipe nipples have like a little straight section. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off with a hacksaw blade uh, just to give myself some more space to work with. And maybe it'll cut off. And I'm, I'm assuming that there's no thread on the other side either. It doesn't. It feels like the, it, I can't tell, but uh, I've got to do this anyway to provide myself with some room and hopefully I'll still be able to thread it on there. I've got to do something. Hopefully I don't need to, you know, replace this and try to, because that's, that's kind of tricky, you know, having to cut off a piece and then glue a piece on that's going to match the right length. I could go get a male adapter where... But that's a male adapter is about this whole length, so I'd have to cut it off just the right space. Uh, it just it I'm just not all that comfortable with that. Of course, I was comfortable enough to start this job, so we'll see. Maybe I'll end up calling a plumber after all. We'll see. Well, uh, these I, I trimmed that off, and these the threads are dinged up. Um, I just I don't trust trying to put it on there. Uh, so what I am going to do, and it turns out, thank you, Jesus. I have, and I could go buy one, that doesn't matter, but I mean, I have a one inch male adapter and it's shorter. That means I've got a little room to play with, which actually I want to make it shorter anyway, because uh, I want to be able to actually screw the thing in and get it to fit in without bunging up the, uh, the uh, O-ring that's on the, uh, uh, on the, on the body. Um, yeah, this, uh, yeah, that O-ring right there. So it's got to go, it's got to be able to fit in. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this off right at the height where it'll, maybe a little bit more. I've already cut off a little bit. Maybe I end up cutting off a total of a eighth, maybe a quarter of an inch. This will have some flex to it to be able to tighten up against there. Um... But I do, I've got to go get some PVC glue. I've got uh, primer, but uh, glue, you know, glue's kind of tricky. It doesn't last really long, or if it gets, you know, it, it might have gotten frozen out in the barn. I try to bring it inside, but sometimes I forget. So I'm going to have to go buy some PVC glue and then come back, and uh, we're just out of water until then. Okay, I think I've got everything I need to get this installed now, and I probably should have thought this out well and kind of scripted it to, to make it clear but then if i did that then you guys would think you were, weren't watching my channel so um i'm going to go ahead 
and I'll just explain it as I do it. I'm going to go ahead and install this in uh, because once it's in, I'll be able to slip it into place on the pipe and have it you know, meet up at the proper length. And I'm going to cut the, uh, you know, I have to cut the other, you know, the, the other uh, plastic, you know, the PVC uh, pipe nipple off to the right length. But uh, you'll see how I'm going to do that in just a second. Uh, like I says, I'll explain it as I do it. Okay. You can go ahead and wrap up some, uh, some tape, even though it's plastic, I mean, you, you, you know, which can kind of yield and, and, uh, and deform and fill up, you know, fill up the, uh, thread spaces. You always use some kind of sealant and it also, it's not just a sealant. It, it's a lubricant. It actually helps the thing thread together better. So, and this is Harbor Freight, uh, Teflon tape, which is actually decent. It's it's a little bit on the thin side, but it's so cheap and it is and it works great. So you put you know a lot of people just like two or three. I put like four to six on because it's it's a little thin. But hey, so we got one on there. Okay, two, three, four. Actually, that's actually pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and go with five. And you'll note uh, uh, this is a side note. Uh, I have this in my left hand and I go towards the back underneath and over that way when you're tightening the threads on it actually makes the, the Teflon tape get on tighter it won't make it come loose because it's going the same direction as the threads okay make sure I got this right that's yeah there's the uh, there's the o-ring I put it on the correct side it's this is the inside for the uh, okay tighten this on oh I need to go more than hand tight is necessary so I need to get um, let's just go ahead and get this because it uh, it doesn't smash it the way the uh, channel locks wood and give it at least another full turn that should seal up seal up well okay. 